Okay, so this is going to be our um, first podcast on section 9.7, which is factoring special products. So let me write, whoops, I got yellow. That's not going to work. So um, so this is 9.7, but I'm going to break it down into two of them to keep them a little bit shorter so that we can get them posted. So this one is actually just going to be on factoring a difference of two squares. All right, and then we will do the other one in the next, okay, E, and so it's a difference of two squares. So this one I didn't make a PowerPoint for, so we're just going to take the notes off of here, so you won't see the PowerPoint on the website. So from here, I'm just going to show you the pattern, first of all. And just like the title says, difference means when we subtract of two squares means two things that are squares. They're perfect squares. So you've multiplied two things together to get that number. So like an x times an x is an x squared. So x squared would be uh, a square. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. So 9x squared would be considered a square. Um, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. So 4x squared would be a square. Now we can take something other than just the variables just raised to the first power. Let's say we had an a squared. An a squared times an a squared is an a to the fourth. So an a to the fourth is a square. Um, 5a to the third times 5a to the third would be 25a to the sixth. So that is a square. So all of these are examples of squares. So here's what we're looking for, squares. All of these are examples of squares. Or we can even just have a number itself. So like 7 squared is 49. Okay, so those are squares. So we want the difference of two of them. All right, so if I would pick maybe this first one, I want this square minus, let's go with the 49. This is an example of a difference of two squares. Or if I took the 4x squared minus the 25a to the 6th, that would be another example of the difference of two squares. So you need to be able to recognize that pattern and what we're talking about. So pay attention to the words, make sure you understand what they all mean. And then that really helps a lot. Then it's like, oh, I know what that is. A difference, subtract, squares, numbers that you multiply to get that number. Um, but I'm going to show you then in your book, it has um, what the factoring pattern is. And you'll notice that they use an a squared and a b squared. So let's say we have a squared minus b squared. Okay. It says the factoring pattern for that is you put your two sets of parentheses. I need factors of a squared, so that can only be a and a. And then I go to the b squared, the last term. Well, we don't have a middle term to jump over, so we just go directly to that last term, and it's a square. So I go b times b. And then to get a negative, I know that I have to multiply a different sign. So I need a positive and a negative. So you're thinking, well, what happens to that middle term then? Well, let's take a look at it. When I multiply a times negative b, we get negative ab. And when I multiply b times a, I get a positive ab. So the middle terms always cancel out. So I just end up with a times a, which gives me the a squared, and then positive b times negative b, which gives me the negative b squared. All right, so here's our pattern. So if that's true, then let's go ahead and put the x squared minus 49 below. And we're going to keep in mind that we said this was a difference of two squares. 
So 49 is a number squared. And that number squared is 7. So if you want, you can even write it like this. Alright? So 49 is 7 squared. So it fits the pattern of a difference of 2 squares. Because x squared is a square, 7 squared is a square, and we have the difference, we have the minus sign. So according to the pattern up here, says the way that factors is factors of x squared or x and x, factors of 7 squared or 49 are 7 and 7, and then what again has to be true of the signs? If we need to have a product of a negative, that means we have to have one positive and one negative. Now, don't you think that's simple, especially after that one we did with that trinomial and the number in front of the x squared? I mean, that takes a lot of thought. These really don't take very much thought. It's a pretty simple pattern if you recognize that, you know, it's a difference of squares. All right, let's try a couple more. So let's say that we have a squared minus... We need a, a something squared. So when you think of your squares, your squares are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64. So we need something like that. Let's take 64. 64 is a square. And what number do you have to multiply by itself to get 64? Well, it's 8. So when we go to factor it, our factors of a squared are a and a. Our factors of 64 are 8 and 8. And yes, we have other factors of 64, but because it's a difference of squares, I take the, the square root. I take the square, uh, what number I have to square to get it. And then I do 1 plus and 1 minus because I have to have the same factors here. So like this has to be a positive 8a and this a negative 8a to get rid of that middle term. So these would be the factors. These would be the factors of a squared minus 64. All right. Now let's say that we put a number in front. Let's say we had 4. Um, let's go with c squared minus 16. Okay. Well, notice that 4 and, four and c squared are squares, and 16 is a square, but they also have something in common. So what we're going to do is, first of all, to factor completely, you need to take out anything they have in common. And the common factor of 4 and 16 is 4. So the first thing we're going to do is factor out the 4. Then we're left with c squared minus 4. Then, if I just look at the c squared minus 4, I see that this right here is a difference of squares. So I'm going to bring the 4 on down, and then I'm going to factor the c squared minus 4. So factors of c squared, c and c. So for the factors of 4, yeah, I could have 1 and 4, but I need to use the 2 and the 2 because it's a difference of 2 squares. So I go plus 2, minus 2, and there I have it. All right. Now let's try this one. I'm going to grab this one from the book. Here it has 25m squared minus 36. Okay, so the first thing we look for is if they have anything in common. So do a 25 and a 36 have anything in common? No, they don't. So I can't bring it out. So is this a square? Well, 25 is a square. It's 5 squared. m squared is a square. 36 is a square. It's 6 squared. So this, again, is a difference of 2 squares. So I choose for my factors, then, the square root of those. So 5m for the first term, because 5m times 5m will give me 25m squared. 
and then I go to the 36, and instead of trying all the factors of 36, I just take the square root. I just use the 6. So we, use, we want the same um, terms in these two binomials. And then we want 1 plus and 1 minus. So here again, then, your middle terms cancel out. So you end up with just, if you were to multiply this out, double distribute, you would get back to this one. Okay? So this is the difference of two squares. So I will leave you with this one um, to see if you can um, do on your own and show me um, in class. So let's go with 3y squared minus 27. Okay? So good luck with that, and um, we will see you in class. Good job.